Hey guys, today I'm doing a video that was requested by somebody on my form spring. Um, it's a video on how to wear leather jackets and the girl who asked me to do this video um, actually asked me a little bit about like what body shapes I would recommend can pull it off and like how to pull it off and that kind of thing. So first off, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the leather jacket, how like how you can wear it, what body shapes can wear it and things like that and then I'm going to show you three outfits that I've styled around the leather jacket using a skirt, um, a pair of pants and a dress. So three totally different looks. Any body shape can pull off the leather jacket. It doesn't matter if you're a full figure, a boyish shape, pear shape, apple shape, athletic shape, hourglass shape, any kind of shape can pull off the leather jacket. You just have to take into account a couple of things. Number one, if you have broader shoulders, then don't go for something that has um, like puffed, this kind of has a bit of detailing, like puffed sleeves or uh, shoulder pads or anything that's just very padded in the shoulder area. Um, so if you're an apple shape or maybe possibly a full figure, um, if you are a an athletic shape, just stay away from you know, too much shoulder detailing, too many shoulder pads and that kind of thing. If you have a bigger bust, then I suggest just staying away from double breasted styles. So that just basically means like there's two buttons, you know, so it's doubled up and um, as opposed to like one single button or like one single zipper. So if you do have a bigger bust, stay away from the double breasted ones because it's going to make your kind of body look top heavy, especially if you're apple shape, you want to stay away from those. And then the last thing that you really need to know about leather jackets is if you are a pear shape, go for something that cuts you right above your hips. That's the best length for you. You can do a crop style as well if you want to bring more volume to the top upper half of your body. But definitely don't go for anything that cuts you right at your hips, which is like the largest part of your body. But this is the same for all jackets in general, so I just wanted to throw that in there. I'm going to show you now how you can style the leather jacket three different ways. The first way is my favorite because I'm a huge fan of skinny jeans. Um, so this is an outfit that I styled up using a pair of pants, a pair of black skinny jeans, and I just paired the leather jacket with this sheer long tank top in grey. And I love black and grey together, I think they're a really good colour combo. So I just like the way the leather jacket is cropped and then this is super long so it's like a big contrast there. And then I have it paired up with my black skinny jeans and my just peep toe heels which look like this and these are from Saint Tropez. Um, I'll have all the outfit details on my blog actually so just go there to check out where everything's from. Then just to kind of like accessorize the outfit I added a looped scarf. This is actually um, in like a jersey material. And it's really pretty, it's like stripey, um, kind of a very, very dark grey. This isn't really black, it's more like a super dark grey. And then a lighter one, and then it's got a red band at the back. Um, this could be a necklace, it could be a scarf, it's just kind of like an accessory that I really, really like. And um, this was actually made by the illustrator of my book, Tarsila, Tarsila Cruz. She and her friend um, have a business where they make these kinds of things out of um, Brazilian like jersey material and I just love them. I think they're amazing. So I'm going to put the information in the jam bar. But that's all I did for this outfit. It's very simple. You could wear this anywhere you want. You could wear this out at night. Just pair it with a maybe a dressier top underneath. Um, you could wear it, I'm going to wear it like during the daytime. That's usually what I do. Um, anywhere, anywhere you want. This time I have it paired up with a skirt. Granted, this is probably more of a wintry or autumn outfit. It's not a summer outfit. I pretty much never wear the skirt in summer or spring, but um, I thought I'd show it anyways. Just to give some, I don't know, tips for like the upcoming autumn season. But this skirt is um, just like a red A-line skirt that I love to pair up with this black because I love black and red together as well. So, um, this is just a really easy way of pairing a cropped jacket, any kind of cropped jacket in fact, it doesn't have to be a leather jacket, but a cropped jacket with anything high-waisted is going to look amazing because it cinches in your waist. So if you want to make your waist look smaller, then definitely go for something like this. Um, this probably wouldn't work with, actually it, it definitely wouldn't work with a jacket that's like regular um, length that's not cropped because 
it would hide the waist. So you need to get something high waisted with something cropped for this to really work. But um, then I just have black pumps from ASOS. Um, they're just very simple, they look like this. And again, just like minimal accessories. And for this outfit, I like to wear the jacket closed, like that. And I would wear this out. I've actually worn this out with my friends like at night a couple of times and I always get lots of compliments on it. The two just kind of complement each other really well and I think the kind of look of like the flared skirt, the A-line skirt, which is super flattering for everybody, and then the crop little jacket, it just kind of like has this edginess or like edgy, yeah, like edgy look about it. This is the last outfit that I wanted to show you guys and it's styled around a dress. Um, this dress is like a halter neck, very light silk. Um, it's almost like a tie-dye effect, black and gray, and a little bit of white in there. And then I just have a, I like to pair this up with a skinny belt because it's very like loose fitting and um, kind of drapey. So it's not like fitted at the waist at all. Um, so I paired up with a skinny belt and then some heels, the same as in the first outfit, um, the peep toe ones, because I think sandals go better with this or like a sandaly kind of shoe rather than a pump. Um, and then the leather jacket on top and paired up with the little skinny waist belt, the leather jacket because it's cropped. They hit like right at the same kind of, yeah, like when this is closed, it's the same. Um, so that kind of complements, they kind of complement each other. And that's pretty much it. So this would be perfect if you were going to somewhere um, like a club or just anywhere like a nighttime kind of event that you need to look a little bit more dressed up for. So those are my tips for how to wear a leather jacket. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, how you style leather jackets and how you like to wear them. And don't forget to check out my blog for pictures and information on all the outfit details. And I will talk to you all again in my next video. Bye.